strong. Our friend Chris Carter said he expects a decision today. CC leaning towards the Lakers. Yesterday, Chris Broussard says Kawhi is doing some, quote, deep soul searching about the choice between the Lakers and Raptors. And here's the man now welcoming in Chris Broussard. Chris, Shannon says he's got a 96.5% chance Kawhi is going to go to the Lakers. Mm. What do you think? What's your best guess about what Kawhi well, will do? I think he's going to the Lakers. The last numbers I was told by someone in the know, and this was after the meeting with the Raptors, was 50-50. That's I what believe you tweeted yesterday basically that, that it was close. very close. Right. I believe it's more like because I know Kawhi has had his eye on the Lakers. Like they started, I tweeted a week or so ago that the Lakers were his to lose. So they started out with an advantage. So I think that it's maybe 60, 40, 55, 65% Lakers over the Raptors. Kawhi, look, this I don't think he's playing around with people. And, and I'd say the definitive reason he's not playing around is Danny Green. Danny Green's his great friend. There are some that will tell you he's the only guy in the NBA that Kawhi talks with just regular, you know, openly, just, I just comfortably, said, said right? many times because he had to be included in that trade to yes. Toronto or it wasn't going to happen. And, and mm -hmm. Danny is darn near a prerequisite mm -hmm. for the Lakers to get Kawhi. I got it. And so Kawhi would not string Danny along. No, you know what I mean? Like, that. like That's mess my around with Danny's career. Because mm. Danny's sitting there anxious, eager to sign yeah. with somebody. So, mm. so he's stringing I, along for six years. No, 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 but he, I think, I, I'm saying he's not doing it on purpose. I think he's really trying to soul search and, and really figuring it. And that's what I'm being I told, too. Mm. Here's the thing. So as he soul searches, what's he, let's look at what he looks at. Uh, I think the first thing is, like I said, he's always wanted to play for the Lakers. You know, when he requested the trade from the Spurs, mm -hmm. first of all, it was I the agree. Lakers. It wasn't mm -hmm. just send me to L.A. It was no, the Lakers. It was the Lakers. So he's always wanted to play with them. Secondly, we know he wants to keep winning. That's all he's known is winning, you know, with the Spurs, with the Clip or with the Raptors. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to go somewhere and not do he that. So a Freudian slip there with the Clippers, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best chance for him while he... Mm -hmm. The Clippers would be good and a contender. The Raptors would be a contender. The best place for him to win multiple championships going forward is obviously the Lakers. Is multiple more than one? Mm. Okay. <laughs> the other thing, his health. <laughs> his health, right? The best place yeah. for him to stay healthy long term because you don't have to carry the load the whole time is the Lakers. Mm. Money. And this is, this is just the unfortunate thing for the Raptors. We talk about he can get $50 million more if he stays with the Toronto. That's largely, most of that money is in that fifth year that you can't get from the Lakers, right? But it, let's think about it. Kawhi, if he stays healthy, that fifth year in Toronto would just be the first year of another max deal. And so he'll get, he'll make up that money in that year. Make it up. So if you just look at the next four years, there was an article in Forbes on this. If you just look at the next four years, believe it or not, he will make $11 million more by playing with the Lakers because huh? of the taxes in Canada. Okay. You know? And point, he's a resident of California. Of the, the Canada taxes are, are awful. <laughs> right. But the worst in America in state is California. Yeah. Okay, yes. So it's, it kind of evens out a little bit. Well, but like I said, but Forbes says yeah. it's, he would make Slide. $11 million Slide. more okay. over the next four and years. Plus, guess what? He does two years. All he has to do is get to that 10-year max. But he'll be a max player. He can get the Supermax. Well, he can only get the Supermax if he stays with Toronto. Supermax, well, it's okay. So we because get you, you have to be with a team, you mm -hmm. know, you have to be with a team that was you were traded to, or you can't leave as a free agent. Okay, so you know what? Instead of 254, we'll take 205. I mean, come on. He's going to get, yeah. I <laughs> yeah, mean, and, come and, on, and, 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 and then, look, lifestyle, of course. Yeah, is lifestyle. LA. Now, here's the other thing, and I know there's conflicting reports out there. Whether he does he want to take a short term deal with the Raptors? The last thing I was told, again, after the meeting with the Raptors, is that he is looking at either a four year deal with the Lakers or five years with the Raptors because of the concern, you know, just his injury health, his health history. So, long term deal to me supports the Lakers because mm -hmm. we know he doesn't really want to be in Canada for the next four or five years. And the weather, Skip. I mean, sunny, 8, 70, 80 degrees every day, mm. palm trees. I, I wouldn't breeze. go 80 every day because we, we've, we've had a long run of, like, 
58 here, right? That's I mean, unusual. No. I mean, yes, unusual. Okay. I mean, the serene. I mean, he got this nice place in mm, San Diego. Yeah, beautiful, Ooh, beautiful. 13 me, I saw it. His girlfriend. I put, I put it up on, I put it up on Zillow. I'm like, yeah, fuck, what? It's like yeah. a resort. You put it up? I pulled it up on oh, Zillow. Oh, you pulled it up. I thought you said you put it up. No, I, I pulled it up. I put nothing down. <laughs> I, got one, I got one month ring in that place. But he can't live there and practice. The, the we got a helicopter. Facility, right? We got a helicopter. I mean, it, theoretically, I guess if he really wanted to, but I, I think he'd live in L.A. Or Hel close, close helicopter. Close. Mm. Mm. He'll be able to because Newport Beach is a ways. Yeah, yeah, and Kobe and how did Kobe get to practice with Nelson mm. Gundo every day? Mm. Chopper it in. He chopped That's what we staples. gonna do. Yeah. That's what we gonna do. Okay. Now you're a we with him. Gen and Genie okay. Bus already got this mapped out. Already got a service. Okay. On. Yeah. So why, Mr. Broussard, <laughs> would number two suddenly pick up and fly all the way back to Toronto to take this meeting? Why wouldn't the meetings happen in L.A. where all the other meetings? He happen? went back to get his belongings. Mm. I would say two things. I I think that is a possibility. Yeah, he, he come to get everything number and one. put it on. Bye. Number two, I think respect. You know, he had a great experience with that organization. And and the second thing, the third thing, Drake. Like, Drake, I don't know if it was all one big meeting or if it was he met with Masai Ujiri and his team and then met with Drake. Obviously, it's connected. But Drake, I'm told, mate, has this, had this huge presentation. He, he would make him part of OVO, his record so There's another 50 mil right there. Snoop Dogg. Right. Huh? Ice Cube. Right? Yeah, Snoop. I guess he knows Snoop pretty well. Ice so. Cube. Mm. So Magic. They, yeah, they got plenty of guys in L.A. that Snoop can help out. Snoop posted a video. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Magic. Hey. Sang a song. You want a Starbucks? I, I bet you, knowing how he knows Snoop, and obviously Snoop is a legendary rapper, but particularly in L.A., I bet that touched Kawhi. Snoop's little song. Don't you think? I mean, honestly... Maybe. That probably you want to do they, more. They bonded a little bit when Snoop performed yeah. up there. Didn't he we, wear a jersey, his jersey? We got, hold on. Yeah. You want to be in the entertainment business? Is that what you want? Because we can reach out. Mm. We can make a call to DiCaprio. Mm. Yeah, we can make a call. Denzel, mm. Samuel L. Is that what you want? What, what do you want to do? Kawhi, mm. what do you want to do? Mm. How do you want to be remembered? Because mm. the Pantheon greats, the one name, and you got one name, Kawhi. Mm. Kawhi. Kobe, Shaq, Kareem, mm. Magic, Logo, mm. Elgin, Braun. Mm. Stop playing skip. Mm. It's a done deal. <laughs> it's a done deal? Wait. What are you now? 96. <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> done deal would be 100. We got it. Are you 100? Now, let me say this. I will say this. Earlier in the week, the when I was in the 90s, the Lakers were a lot more confident. They were there was a lot of certainty you, you within, were in the, 90s within on the Lakers, yeah. Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. But yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But they the Lakers were a lot more confident too. I'm not saying they don't think they're getting him, but they're, you know, they know it's a it's yeah. it's a it's good. when you live listen, I, I don't know how you do it. But like again, back to the relationship. When you break up with somebody, you gotta go get your stuff. You gotta get your belongings. Because you know if you send them to you, they might be Clorox, they might be something done damaged. So let me go get my belongings, get my clothes, get my my toothbrush, my all my stuff, and bring it back. He had to go to Toronto. You live at her house? I, mean, so, well, I don't get it. I mean, you have some stuff over there. She has some stuff at yours. She oh. come gets her stuff. You go get your thing. Oh. And we, hey, thank you. It was, hey, we had a great run. Mm. It ended. Sorry. Mm. That's how you do it, Skip, baby. That's mm. how you do things. People don't do that anymore. See, email has been the, oh, I hate email. I hate text messages. We're message. past email. We're to text messages. <laughs> I hate that, too. <laughs> fax machine. Yeah. I hate fax but machine. But you don't have, you never got email. I don't have email. I don't need no email. Call me. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, break up man to man, right? Man to woman. That's <laughs> it, Skip. I mean, whatever happened to that? Why we can't be sensible? Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense to me that he flew all the way back there. I, I just never could get it. I thought that was game over. And then we had Raptors. Well, we had Raptors. Well, reports. there are those that think that. Uh, yeah. Jalen Rose Taylor said Rose. 99. Frank Isola said 99.9 .9 yesterday. Uh, Rick Buecher, who we're going to have on here in just a few minutes, thought two days ago it was Toronto. Okay. No, it's, it, it's, I, it's close. It, it is close between those two. What, what was the percentage of those guys that said Kawhi didn't want to play with LeBron? That was 99.92, .92, huh? And not all of a sudden. Yeah, there was a lot of talk about that. Oh, he didn't want to play with LeBron. He wanted to play against LeBron. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, something happened. Did, did they trade? Did the Lakers trade LeBron? Because if he were to come to Los Angeles, 
He gonna have to play alongside LeBron. Hmm. The guy that nobody, you remember, nobody wanted to play with okay, LeBron. Okay, but our man Chris Broussard tweeted yesterday that he was still soul searching about the fit with the, the other he two. He doesn't want to take a step back. Okay. He does not want to take a step back. And LeBron has talked to them about, because he met with LeBron by himself, and then he met with LeBron and AD. So they've all talked about it. LeBron is saying, I'm going to be the point guard. Not the point forward like he has throughout his career. The point guard. Oh, oh, which I love. I, I, love I think LeBron I love should it. do that. I agree. But that's what he's saying. And those two guys would be the first two scoring options. I'm and Lebr LeBron's still going to get 20 How something. does AD feel about that? He well, I don't know who would be. I I'm sure they wouldn't have a pecking order. Tattoo. You know I'll what that, it could ball. be like? It would be more like the Boston Celtics big three where, with Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, and Paul Pierce, where they all played different roles. But it's different because here's the situation here. Paul Pierce was an original Celtic. Garnett, Ray Allen came in. In this big three, everybody is, is an import. Mm. Steph, Clay, they were there. KD came in. Who's been here the longest? Oh, we're going to talk about one year. Stop. <laughs> well, who has been? You're going to talk about one year. The guy got one year C yard and get really? And it was kind of an ugly year. Oh, my God. It's forgettable, right? Oh. Mm. Chris, great stuff. We hope you hang with us for another segment. We'll keep you around. I can do that. Right after this timeout, we're going to talk about would LeBron be better off without Kawhi on the Lakers? Well, this interesting, is obvious. No, it's not topic, obvious. Especially when it comes to his legacy. <laughs> we're discussing that when Undisputed comes back.